All right, so my talk is journalism is doomed. Or uh, I'm Alex Handy, and uh, I'm a journalist. And about the beginning of this year, it really fucking dawned on me. You know, I've been hearing since 1999 when I got into print journalism, really, that journalism on paper is doomed. Print is dead. But you know what? Print really is dead. And I didn't realize it till the beginning of this year. And th there will be books, there will be magazines, there will be newspapers. But for the most part, dead. I mean. If you're going to start a newspaper in this day and age, you're fucking crazy. So, journalism is print, TV, radio, and web stuff. And uh, the only one that still pays any kind of money to people to actually do stuff is television. Frontline is an excellent example of somebody doing it right. Bill O'Reilly is an example of somebody doing it wrong, but still getting paid, right? Nobody's getting paid to do NPR stuff. I mean, I've looked into the uh, This American Life thing. Great show. They don't pay shit. So you get a bunch of jokers like this cunt up here. I fucking hate Nancy Grace. What a waste of space this woman is. Why do they keep putting her on television? I don't care about missing blonde children. Shut up, all of you stupid fucking cunts. I want news. I don't want opinions. I don't want Lou Dobbs telling me how to invest my money. He doesn't know how I should invest my money. He doesn't fucking know about anything. He just talks to people all the time, which is what journalists do. They talk to people all the time. They don't shout at them like Bill O'Reilly. That's not journalism. So anyway, they just fucking blah, blah, blah. Fuck, the, fuck all these talking heads. Television is not journalism. There's very, very little actual journalism on television. And most of it is on PBS. Anderson Cooper is sometimes cool, sometimes not. Like, when he goes to Africa and interviews guys in the bush who are in the rebels, awesome. When he's, like, talking about losing weight and how America's overweight and fuck that. So, anyway, all the good journalism used to be on the print and radio for a long time. But neither of these things, are, all these magazines went out of business within the last seven months. EGM is the one that hurt me the most. That was a fucking great magazine. EGM is dead. Electronic Gaming Monthly, second oldest video game magazine in the world. The first was Computer Gaming World. That died three years ago. That's where I got my start. Um, yeah, 525 magazines died last year. 40-some-odd 40, uh, 40 went in the first month. I every day there's another print outlet that's going out. I mean, are we surprised? Of course not. The Internet is killing everything. Why would these things even ex exist? But beyond that, this is the big question. How are you going to write stories about people, places, and events when those people's places and events are writing about themselves? There's nothing to tell. The only thing a journalist can do now is be an aggregator of the information that all these people are generating about themselves and sort of give you the best parts, you know, the general feel. But there's nothing that they would be doing there that you couldn't do yourselves. It's just like saving people time. It's not journalism. It's just sitting down and reading a bunch of shit so somebody else doesn't have to. So it's not even a job anymore. It's, it's not my job to be a journalist, even though I'm still getting paid for it. And I, I will have a job for a long time here. I'm not as doomed. I'm in a particularly cool spot. But... You people are the journalists. All, it's your jobs. When you're walking home and you see an explosion on the street, you take a picture of it. You don't send it into the fucking television people who ask you to send them, please, free news. No, you put it on Twitter or you, you put it on Flickr or you message people and tell them about it. That's journalism. That's exactly what a journalist would do. They, their first person on the spot on the web is the one that wins. So uh, that means you people have to get off your asses and start doing this shit so I don't have to. Come on. What's wrong with you? And by the way, somebody kill Larry Kudlow. This son of a bitch is on CNBC. You probably don't know who he is because he's on at like 3 o'clock and you people are all at work. But Larry Kudlow, my favorite Larry Kudlow quote, 2007 July. The economy is perfectly stable. We are past the bumps, people. Everything is just fine. July 2008. Ah, these new price consumer reports say everything is fine. We are past the worst of this. This is last summer, this guy. And this guy still has a show. And all he does is badger people. And uh, please kill her, too. Because she's literally, I don't know if I said this. Did I say this? No, okay. Literally, Nancy Grace's big secret is she's actually kidnapping all these little children and eating them. <laughs> That's why she constantly is able to report on this shit, uh, these little missing children, and you fuck her and Glenn Beck. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, questions? Yeah, I got a question. Question? Yeah. You're absolutely right. 
But uh, journalism is also fraught with people who tell you bullshit. I mean, look at the Weekly World News. Well, look at, you know, dr the... Huh? Well, that's like whatever was... That's whatever was safe journalism. <laughs> well, yeah, traditional journalism used to be the search for the truth, but it has totally been bastardized from that. I mean, even... You're right. Yellow journalism was just like what we got now. Yeah, so, th I mean, you don't have any guarantee that the AP News got it right any more than you do on the Twitter, but you place trust in somebody you know who's not full of shit on Twitter. So you're getting more reliable news from your friends than you are from the television. Because Nancy Grace is full of shit, but if your friend's kid gets stolen and you hear it from them, you don't need Nancy Grace. You're, you know that's true. Yes, actually, that's the other thing is that this whole aggregating and finding the best bits, somebody could probably write a program to do that. Yeah, news.google, exactly. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, it, it just, it, there's no reason to have a journalism degree. A friend of mine said he was going to go to Berkeley and get a master's in journalism. I was like, <laughs> this fucking, you might as well be selling buggy whips in 1928. There's no, there's no future in it, you know? I mean, I, you're not going to have a job because nobody's going to want to read your crap. Nobody cares about journalism anymore. <laughs> oh, abso absolutely. Well, the, the thing is that uh, with the web, the web expands that business model. Absolutely. The web totally expands that business model, but the web is not paying as much as print used to. So all my friends who lost their editorial jobs, they're like, oh, let's go on the web and start a blog or something, right? They can't make enough money on that. They get like a penny a hit. Maybe they get a thousand hits. That's 10 bucks, you know? Uh, it's It's not... The, the gap, there's a huge gap. Yeah, exactly. Uh, journalists are just going to be out there with the old Chinese ladies picking glass bottles up and, you know, and asking questions. Oh, uh, if, I, if I can, the one thing, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving journalism behind hopefully in the future. And the one thing that I love about it is what I've discovered at Noisebridge is when I first came to Noisebridge, my first thought, oh, write a great article about this. Oh, 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 oh where's Wired? Oh, BBC, I'll go and write it. I could get paid. But then I started thinking, it's like, why don't I just come here and interact and be instead of writing about it, right? And that's the, th the thing that is freeing about not being a journalist, and I'm sort of trying to think of myself as not a journalist anymore, and I can actually interact with shit instead of writing about it. Because most of you people, I go, oh, that's really cool. I could make like 150 bucks writing about you. <laughs> but I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> so, cheers. <laughs>